Hi, David again. I uh, want to talk about the uses of the vacuum forming process. What can you use this process for? Right here, I'm holding a new part that we just finished. This is a vertical rail for an above ground swimming pool. And with people inside, with their kids not able to go to summer camp, the swimming pool business is really going right now. So this is a new rail. That's one of the uses for recreation. You could have tops for an ATV, tops for a golf cart. The gas pump, when you go to the gas station, if you see a plastic gas pump, that's probably vacuum formed. We make side fairings for tractor trailer trucks. We make fronts of ice machines, tops of ice machines. Um, ice bins for the inside of ice machines, so all type of food and beverage type equipment. We make medical. Uh, you'll see here there's parts here for medical carts, so a lot of parts for medical carts. Uh, just a wide array of parts. The interiors for buses, when we get to our plant, you're going to see some parts inside for buses. You're going to see inside rail car door parts. So if you can think of it, we can probably make it. Now, I want to talk about one of the big uses for vacuum forming that has really come on here in the last year or so. is specialized pallets for transit, plastic pallets. And today, more than ever, you need a pallet that can be sanitized. We make pallets for shipping pharmaceuticals. Now they're going to be shipping millions of doses of COVID vaccine, we're told. So if you need a certain size, if you need it to hold uh, in case your dry ice packets were to break or the, the new frozen packets that the companies are using, we're making a lot of specialty pallets and people are calling me daily about specialty pallets for shipping uh, things, especially pharmaceuticals. But it would work in the food and beverage industry. If you've got bakery goods that you need to ship, you want to sanitize the pallets. You don't want a wood pallet anymore. So anything that you're looking where you need to sanitize, you need a pallet that uh, does not have wood fibers, wood chips, splinters, a plastic pallets to go. Now, you're gonna see a picture that's gonna come up of a pallet that we made for a customer and he needed it to hold almost 4,000 pounds. We put steel in the plastic, we made a twin sheet and we've got a whole video coming up on twin sheet here in one of our segments. But 4,000 pounds, Three pallets of plastic that are stacked on this on the plastic pallet that we made, and it doesn't sag. So another use for this process.